Now we get started with our speakers, our first speaker, born and raised here and has displayed her tremendous, unwavering, continuous support for many worthy entities in our community and beyond in highly respected fashion as a philanthropist, business person, and more. In NFL circles, she serves on the Audit Business Ventures and Hall of Fame committees and plays a huge role in helping New Orleans to get major events, including the Super Bowl next year and a half in 2025. She serves as a member of the Labor Relations Committee, was named to the NBA Foundation Board of Directors in 2020. She also owns GMB Racing Stables and three automotive dealerships, along with Fober Brewing Company, a lot of deep faith. She's also contributed to many faith-based organizations, schools, and initiatives, and most prominently is involved in the restoration of the project for St. Louis Cathedral. On a personal level, she's supported many entities, including our Saints Hall of Fame, which we're greatly appreciative of as well. Please give a very warm Ready to Orleans Quarterback Club welcome to New Orleans Saints and New Orleans Pelicans owner, Gail Benson. Gail. Good afternoon, everyone, and thank you, Ken and the Quarterback Club, for inviting me to be here with you all today. To be honest, being around all of these teams who enjoyed such great success, I felt a little left out. <laughs> But, however, I can assure you we are doing everything we can to make certain we add to the postseason success of the teams represented here today. I am truly excited about what I have witnessed from our team to date and fully expect we will be back in the playoffs this year where we belong. This is really a special time for football in Louisiana. To see the game being played at such a high level and participation broadening with the addition of youth flag football for boys and girls is a great sign for the future of our game. We all know how important football is in our culture, whether that is Friday nights, Saturday, or Sundays. Improving access to playing the game will only help the sport grow in our region. Over the last few years, I'm proud to say that we have brought our NFL flag program to 17 parishes statewide and have more than 3,000 young people participating. The future is bright for football in Louisiana, and a big part of that is thanks to the coaches and administrators joining us today. Something else I think we can all be encouraged about is the ongoing renovations at the Caesars Superdome. If you have not had the opportunity to see the upgrades that are online this season, I hope you will have the opportunity to visit the dome soon. The changes are transformational. It is absolutely incredible to see how we have been able to build a best-in-class modern stadium within the shell of our iconic Superdome. This multi-year project is proof of what we can accomplish as a community and as a state when we all work together and listen to each other. This renovation is truly a team effort with funding coming from our organization and the state through the LSED. We have been able to find a way to not just preserved a beloved state asset, but to create a stadium as good, if not better, than any facility in the country. As a result of this massive renovation, the Caesars Superdome will remain a premier venue sought after by the world's greatest and biggest events like the Super Bowl, Final Four, and national championship games for decades to come. These events generate huge economic returns for our city and state and are an exceptionally powerful advertisement for our culture and our community. We still have an additional year of work to do before all the renovations are complete, but the changes our fans and guests will experience are truly significant. Our investment has been focused on making the fan experience as easy, seamless, and fun as it can possibly be. The upgrades we have made are a direct result of listening to what our fans wanted. 
The first thing they were clear about what they did not want was a new stadium. Our fans and community have a deep attachment to the dome and they did not want any part of it going away. What they did want, however, was easier access to their seats without winding through hundreds of yards of ramps or countless banks of escalators. They asked for wider concourses, additional bathrooms, better food, and faster service. In addition, they wanted lighting to be upgraded, club rooms upgraded, and easier access when arriving in and out of the stadium more quickly. By listening and working together, that is just what we are delivering. We were not only able to accomplish this because we were all willing to sit down and listen to each other, commit to a common goal, and sometimes compromise when we weren't in complete alignment. Finding common cause, listening to opposing views, and compromising seems to be somewhat in short supply these days. I truly hope this Superdome renovation will serve as an example of what we can accomplish in this state when we all work together to do something great. This is one of the reasons football is so important. Working together in common purpose, sacrificing individual wants to achieve the group's goals, and listening to each other are what football teams do at every level, every season. All of you who are involved in coaching football or as administrators preach these values to your kids and living those values is the only true road to success. If they can take that approach to the rest of their lives and their careers, our community will also succeed and thrive. And when we take that approach to our everyday interactions with family, politics, those too will be successful and we will all achieve greater success together. I am hopeful that there will be many more wins for our city and state, like the Caesars Superdome project, and promise we will do our part to support those efforts. And in conclusion, I wish all of you great success in the upcoming season, and thank you for all that you do to support our team. It means so much to us and the city. Most importantly, thank you for being part of our football family and teaching the values of football to our children. The future of football is indeed bright in Louisiana. I applaud you all again for your role in building that future. Thank you once again.